let's go step by step through the architecture of our project we will begin with the on premises environment where the data is stored this simulates a real world scenario where companies often have legacy systems or local databases producing flat files to bring this data into azure we will use azure data factory now because our data lives on premises we need a secure bridge to the cloud that's where self hosted integration runtime comes in it acts as a secure gateway installed in the on prem environment which allows data factory to connect and transfer the data securely without exposing it publicly inside data factory we will also enable git integration this is an important enterprise best practice because it allows us to store pipeline definitions in a git repository with git every change to our pipelines is version controlled team collaboration becomes easier and rollback to previous versions is also possible for reliability we will build monitoring into the pipeline and for that purpose we will use our logic app to send email notification whenever the pipeline either succeeds or fails this way the data engineering team is always informed about pipeline health in real time in addition we will also configure azure monitor which gives us dashboards logs and alerts for deeper pipeline tracking and system wide monitoring once the data is ingested it will be stored in azure data lake storage gen 2 This acts as our central data lake where we can keep both raw data and process data in a structured hierarchical format. Data Lake Gen 2 is scalable, cost-effective and designed for big data analytics. Now, once the data is in raw data container in storage account, we need to prepare it for analytics. For this purpose, we will use Azure Databricks. Databricks allows us to perform large scale data cleaning and transformation using Apache Spark. This is where we will handle tasks like removing duplicates, correcting data formats and preparing clean data sets for analysis. But when Databricks connects to external systems like here as your storage account, it needs credentials. Hard coding these credentials is a big security risk. To solve this we will use Azure Key Vault to gather with Databricks secret scope. Here's how it works. Key Vault stores all the secrets securely and Databricks secret scope acts as a link between Databricks and Key Vault. So whenever Databricks needs a secret it retrieves it securely from Key Vault and the actual credentials are never exposed in code or notebook. This is a critical best practice for enterprise grade security. After transformation, the clean data will be stored into Data Lake Gen 2 container named Transform Data. From there, we will connect to Azure Synapse Analytics, which allows us to query this data using familiar SQL. Synapse can handle big data queries efficiently and is well suited for building data warehouses and analytical solutions finally we will connect power bi power bi will serve as a visualization and reporting layer enabling us to build interactive dashboards where end users managers or analysts can explore the insights in the next part we will download the data and take a look at it